Hi, Beatrice Nora with Musings Podcast. And here are my musings. How to avoid the traumatization of sexually abused people. A couple of years ago, I was invited to do a workshop on sexual abuse. I accepted the invitation on the condition my host has in praise local experts who would help in dealing with the ruptured wounds and also do a thorough follow-up after the workshop and also in the days to come because that is very important for those people with those kind of wounds. I am grateful for the many platforms that technology has gifted us with. However, Watching some interviews in the context of sexual abuse and physical abuse leaves me concerned about people who are interviewed and unknowingly traumatizing them. What is re-traumatization? It is an ordeal that happens when someone re experiences a tragic event after either consciously or unconsciously. Questioning in detail on their traumatic story can trigger the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and most likely re-traumatizing the person. How can re-traumatization be avoided? It depends on a person's know-how and journey through the healing process. Here are some helpful questions. One, before the interview, ask your interviewee which questions they are comfortable answering. Two, prepare in advance a support system if they don't have one in place. Three, respect their boundaries, avoid harmful invasive questions. It is, number four, it is essential to to be transparent with your motive. Is it for entertainment and building your channel at the cost of another's pain? In conclusion, re-traumatization can cause significant distress in and of itself, while obstructing long-term healing to how it interferes with the nervous system. Therefore, preventing re-traumatization is crucial to optimizing wellness and helping those in in your circle to heal. Thank you for choosing Musings Podcast. I will speak to you next time. And you can catch up with me in the social media, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.